We are back on the riverbank at the Target sponsored Sports Star Fishing and we've got Ian Diamond White. Ian, not the best day's fishing so far for you, is it? No, never is, is it? Hey, you know, last year one fish, this year I've only got one fish, so we'll just keep going. We've got another two hours yet, so um, hopefully we can uh, double our tally than last year. Is this a nice break away from darts, is it, for yourself fishing? Yeah, I love it. You know, it's, it's, it's just so relaxing. You know, it's so nice to get here and, and just chill out. Um, you know, didn't get back till one in the morning yesterday, um, and then we're here. So it's just nice and chill. At least you're doing something that you know there's not a lot of pressure, but there is a bit because I've got Dan and Webster on my side as well. <laughs> First half of the darting year, all done and dusted, and you're into the top ten in the world now. You must be pleased with that. Yeah, very pleased with it. You know, I wanted to be a bit closer. I had the chances, sorry, to be a bit closer. Um, you know, so. Ah, well, we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully the second half of the year. I think that's where I usually fall down. So this year, you know, if I can, if I can keep um, doing what I've done the first half, you know, we should be uh, quite comfortably in the top ten. When you look back, do you think, what if on some of those chances? You always do, don't you? It's darts, isn't it? You know, if that double ten had gone in or that double fifteen had gone in, you know, it, it, it's always ifs, isn't it? You know, you've just got to do it. Um, so hopefully next six months will be uh, better. Did the match play, did that take some time to get over for yourself? I'm still not over it. If he was coming today, I was going to jump on him and throw him in the water, you know what I mean? But he's pulled out. <laughs> oh, it was just a killer for me, you know. Uh, even now, I know I've got to get over it, but, you know, it was just so annoying. You know, I'd, I'd let myself down, um, you know, by not finishing it off, but... You know, fair play to Stephen, you know, he come back and that's what you've got to keep doing in the darts, keep battling back. But yeah, I'm still gutted now. Especially, I suppose, when you look through how far Stephen went and the opportunities that he got, not playing at his best, but still got that far, where you were playing a lot better than him going into the tournament as well. I was, I've been playing well, like you said, all year, you know, so going into the tournament, you know, I was on the first page of the betting and all, and that's never happened, do you know, so everyone must recognise, you know, what I've been doing the last few months, so... Yeah, I just I just thought that was my tournament. I really felt good. Uh, I thought, you know, that was my chance, but it just didn't happen. How do you get over some of that? Is it just needing the next tournament to come along quickly? Yeah, you know, we had a tournament weekend, another semi-final and another quarter-final, you know, on the floor. But I'm doing that quite regular, you know, so I just need these TV tournaments. And, uh, you know, in September now, we've got all these Europeans coming up, so it's like four Europeans. You know, on the bounce, so you know, hopefully we can do well in them. And like I said at the beginning of the year, you know, I won two Europeans, and I can win two more. It's like winning a major because it's like you know, you're hundred thousand pound. You know, so that's that's my aim. If I can win another two of them, then that's really going to push me up. Touch on your European form, like you said, it's been exceptional. Yeah, we're doing okay. Um, you know, last year <coughs> wasn't too good, but this year, you know, I've gone to a flying start for European finals. You know, a lot of people will take that, but I want a couple more now. As well, the Pro Tour in Hilda time, obviously a lot pulled out. Was that a missed opportunity for yourself as well, do you think? I felt I felt it was. Um, you know, on the Saturday, losing the semi-final to Dimitri. I was 6-4 up again, lost 7-6. You know, I've done that again. Um, but, yeah, I lost the opportunity with them not being there. But then you still had Mensa Sulevich was there, Dave Chisnub was there. You know, there's still quite a few people there, so... You know, still some top players there. What do you make of the news coming out this week that Michael Van Gogh has said that he's not going to play in any more pro tours for the rest of the year? You see the calendar getting bigger and bigger, do you know? And I think the pro tours now are during the week, the rest of them that we've got. So you can understand that he's going to do the Europeans on the Saturday and Sunday and then, you know, not turn up during the week. You know, he wants that rest time. You know, Phil Taylor always said to me, he said, your rest is as good as your practice. And he is right, but at the time when you're in a certain position near the rankings like number 16 or trying to get in the top 10 like I am and that, you've got to turn up at everyone. And I think that's important. Do you feel though by not playing them, you lose a little bit of match sharpness though, that real killer instinct when you need it perhaps? Yeah, yeah, we've seen it with, we've seen it with Gary Anderson, as you know. You know, he's, he's not been there all year and then, you know, he can play well and we all know he can play well, but just that sharpness wasn't there you know, the last few months. So, you know, he, he's going to come back this next four months as well. So, 
yeah, you've got to keep going. Anyway, what else are you going to do? Sit at home and watch the scores on the, you know, on the computer. That'd do me head in even more, wouldn't it? <laughs> As well, your practice partner Michael Smith just came up short in the match play final. Have you spoken to him since? Yeah, we've been practicing. Um, he came home on the Sunday night on the match play. We were practicing again Tuesday. Um, you know, so that's that's what you've got to do. You've got to keep on top of it. You know, it's a full 12 months calendar. Um, but I'm going away, you know, shortly, so we'll have a few few weeks off. So. And I'm ready in the book, then we'll get together ready for September. Looking forward to next year as well. If you can have a good back end of the season, like you've had front end, do you genuinely believe that the doors will open for you, or do you still feel as if you're banging your head against a brick wall at times? <laughs> you know, I get, you get asked that question. It's, it's, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing at the end of the day. If I can get to a European final or I can win them or to do well in a TV tournament, that's up to the selectors and everything, then. You know what I mean? I can only do what I can do. If, it, if they don't ever pick me, you know, social media and that can say what they want then, can't they? And, you know, I can't really say a lot about it, but we'll just keep going. And, you know, once I do my job, that's up to them now. I appreciate you can't say much about it, and I understand that, but you must find it frustrating within, knowing that other people get opportunities when you've won more than them this year. Yeah, you know, you do, the World Series, you know, I thought I'd at least get in one of them or, you know, something like that, but I, I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, it is frustrating, but I've just got to keep going and just not let, let it affect me darts, because it affects your darts, like Simon Whitlock did in not getting the Premier League. You know, the first few months, he just did not want to play darts. He was giving up and it was... He's not now, he's starting to fight back again now, but then first few months, it just killed him, you know, and... I, I th to me, I, th I think it was wrong in what they did. But that was just my opinion. At the end of the day, I think if they'd have put Simon in, no one could have argued the point. He was the next one in line. As a player, would you like maybe set criteria so everyone knows at the start of the season what the criteria is to get in certain things? Does that make it easier for players as well? We've got that with a lot of the tournaments. You know, every tournament is, you know, you've got to be in the top 16 or you've got to be in the top 16 in the Pro Tour or you know that's what it is we all know what it is when when you've got something i know what you're getting on about which is the premier league i know what you tried to ask and everything but we've got no control over that I, like i said it's a show you know that's what they want it as you know i've just got to go along with it yeah it's an absolute pleasure talking <laughs> to you here by the side of the river at the charity fishing mate thank you very much you're welcome no problem